very interesting question appeared on our app site recently. It had to do with blasphemy against the Holy Spirit. You know, one of the great things that the Christian faith tells us is that God is a forgiving God. But one day Jesus was meeting with a group of people and he said to them that all things could be forgiven except one thing, and that was blasphemy against the Holy Spirit. Now that statement has called untold consternation for people down through the centuries because so many people say, that is something that can't be forgiven. What is it? How do I know I haven't done it? Maybe I have done it, perhaps. And there's just so much confusion on the subject. So let's see if we can shine a little light on it. Now, we must always look at the sayings of Jesus in the context in which they were said. And the context is very, very obvious and very, very important. Jesus, surrounded by a group of people who were very hostile to him, they were called Pharisees. Not all the Pharisees were hostile to him, this group was. Surrounded by these people, he was confronted by a blind mute. That is somebody who couldn't see and couldn't speak either. And Jesus identified a demonic problem here, exorcised the demon, and the man was immediately held. And these skeptical Pharisees immediately said, he did that by the power of the devil. They didn't dispute a miracle had taken place. They attributed it to the power of the devil that was working through Jesus. Jesus retorted to them, now, if the devil was kicking out the demons, the devil was fighting himself. And a house divided against itself cannot stand. That's a nonsensical way of looking at it. By the way, he said, you exercise people, do you do it by the devil? And then he said this, on the other hand, if I by the Holy Spirit cast out this demon, then you should recognize that the kingdom of God has arrived among you. And Jesus immediately refutes the idea that he is working under the power of Satan, that in actual fact he is working under the power of the Holy Spirit. Now it's very interesting, Matthew chapter 12, where this incident, where, where this incident is recorded, Matthew also quotes from Isaiah the prophet, where God has said that one day he will, part, he will put his spirit upon his promised Messiah. All right, now then, Jesus has put a stake in the ground. I have not done this by the power of Satan. I have done this by the power of the Spirit. But you are attributing the work of the Spirit to the devil himself. Now then, Jesus says, that is blasphemy against the Holy Spirit. And that is one thing that will not be forgiven, to attribute to the devil himself the work of the Holy Spirit. Why was this so important? Well, Jesus said, I am here operating under the power of the Spirit. God has promised that Messiah would operate under the power of the Spirit. You are denying that I am working by the Spirit. You are denying that I am fulfilling what God had promised. In other words, you are rejecting what God has said, you are rejecting the work of the Holy Spirit, and you are rejecting my Messiahship. And you add all those things together, and there's nowhere to go, there's nowhere to be forgiven. And so blasphemy against the Holy Spirit is the sin that cannot be forgiven. Now then, the big question is, have I blasphemed against the Holy Spirit? I would make sure, I would say to you, to you the best way of making sure is to say, Lord, you know my heart, and you know I love you, and you know that I believe that God sent you, and I know that the Spirit of God works in you, and I am so glad that the Spirit of God has worked through you to draw me to yourself. And I thank you for your grace. And then put away all thoughts of not being forgiven. <laughs>